In this next part, uh, I'm going to run a backtest with the ingested data we've previously seen. And again, I'm going to keep it simple. So we're not going to use any IDEs or complicated you know, uh, environment. And we are going to start again from the documentation, just like that. So this is the, the doc documentation of the project. And we are going to go to the backtesting section. There is a very simple template right here. And we are going to use that with some few adjustments in order to uh, run it locally. So let's do that. So this is the folder we have been working on. <coughs> we have the uh, configuration file. We have the repository and the virtual environment. And we also have the ingested database that we've created with the Alpaca data bundle. So let's create a test file. Again, I'm, I'm going to use Notepad just to keep it as simple as possible. And let's call it test.py. Yes, created. And let's copy this code sample right here from the documentation. Let's put it here and some small modifications. For instance, we are not going to run against Amazon because we haven't ingested that yet. We, we used Google and Tesla and Apple. So let's use Apple. Let's adjust the dates. So this is 2021. Let's run it from February to March, to March right here, and and that's it. All right. Now one more thing that uh, I did previously, which is setting an environment variable, a relative environment variable, and when executed that, I encountered encountered an issue. I will show you that, that issue and then we'll fix it by using a, a hard-coded path, like a full path. So let's save that and go back to the command line. Let's look for the environment variable. This is a relative environment variable, <coughs> right? Relative to the local location. And when I try to run it, let's try to run the test file. We're going to get this error. And it could not find the database or things that are related to the, to the SQLI database. And if we look into it, we see that we have this part duplicated, right? The zipline data alpaca API. And it's again here before the path. So we need to use an absolute path. And I'll do it right here. This is an absolute path to the zipline demo folder. And now if I try to execute it again, this is what we get. So it was executed and this is a simple graph that was uh, plotted, the benchmark and the algo. This is not a complicated algorithm and of course it may or may not uh, have revenues and that's of course not the point of this uh, execution or this tutorial. So uh, to sum that up, what we did, we let's look at the folder and we need to close it in order for that to complete. This is the entire environment. We have a configuration file, we have the code, we have uh, the ingested database, and we have a simple algorithm. And that's the entire thing. And we executed this uh, on a Windows machine with Python 3.6. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So 
Thank you very much. I hope you find that useful and it will be easy to uh, use this package exactly the same way that I did. Of course, use an IDE, use more sophisticated uh, development tools. But that's, that's as simple as it gets. So, thank you. See you soon.